In this lesson, we need to merge our guts into our shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear out our properties bin. And what I want to do is to add a merge node. So we'll just hover over the empty area and hit the M key. Now, the way that we need to set this up is our B pipe going into this transform for our clean plate. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. And then instead of the background coming through this transform, we'll hook it into this merge, just like this. Okay, and you can kind of fix those a little bit to get that into place better. And then I'm going to plug the A pipe into our guts. So you should be able to see the guts, but they are going to look a little bit odd. And the reason for this is because we're not using our alpha. So to add our alpha, we need to be able to copy this into the alpha channel of our uh, RGB guts. So we need to create a copy node. So you can just hover over your empty area, hit the tab key, and type in copy. And to copy this, we'll go ahead and plug our A into our alpha, or that object buffer, and the B into the read node of the zombie. And let's also go ahead and change that merge from hooking right into the read to hooking into the copy. Now we're going to get an error at first because we don't have it set up yet. And all you have to do is say this is going to be the A column and this is the B column. So because this is going into A and this is going into B, we'll just say we'll copy the channel RGBA red to the RGBA alpha. So now this has this as its alpha channel. Okay, so we can just kind of set that up so it's feeding in there properly. And I'll go ahead and add a dot node to kind of make that a little straighter. So I'll hold control and we'll just place that there. So now all we have left that we haven't used is that shadow. And this is looking pretty good. So it looks a little dark. We can go in and maybe change that. But let's just see what it looks like if we just go ahead and hit play at this point pretty good. Now, there's a couple things that we can add to make this even better. So one of those things would be that we could make these guts move with the transformation of our shot. So we can come in here and add a transform node on this pipe. So we'll hit the tab key, type in transform. You want to make sure that's just a regular transform node. There we go. And then just drop that on after the copy. And with you being on frame one, we'll come in here and clear out some of this. Let's go over to our tracker again. And we'll just do the same translation we've done before by control clicking from the translate of the tracker to the translate of the transform. Okay. So now that's going to move a little bit more closely with what we actually have happening with our zombie. Now, let's say you think that this is maybe too high or not far out enough from the zombie. We can add another transform node right behind this one to kind of fix that. So we'll just hit tab again, hit enter just to drop in another transform. And then this one we can just use to move the guts around as we want them. So let's try something like that right there. So we've got a little bit of that uh, skin coming out. We can see these organs. And now it's kind of moved down a little bit too. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit play clear out our properties bin so we can see a little bit better. And that moves pretty nicely, but it also um, is looking like it's a little far out from our zombie. So kind of on a little bit of a later frame, if you wanted to, you could scoot that back in a little bit more, maybe down a little bit more. That looks a little more realistic to me. Great. 
Okay, so now that's that's looking really good. That's moving along with our zombies' movements really nicely. Now, obviously, we don't have our shadow added back in, and our ground looks like, you know, if a zombie was crawling across the ground like this, there would probably be a good amount of blood that was being left behind. So in the next several lessons, we'll be just kind of integrating this better. But in a really short amount of time, we've gotten this um, merged in with everything, and it's looking pretty good. But in the next lesson, what we're going to do is add our shadow back in with some color correction of our clean plate. So we'll be using this node here to be able to kind of just make it look like our shadow actually exists. So stick around and we'll be doing that in the next lesson.